Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be showing you how to fix your screens if you've used the Baller Installer and after relaunching or restarting your computer your screens are all messed up. Let me get everything set up and we'll get started. Okay, so one of the first things that you're going to do is you're going to go into your drive that you have your baller installed on, which for me is my D drive, or a visual or a V pinball folder, visual pinball, and you're going to look for a file. Actually, no, I'm sorry, we're going to go into tables, and then you're going to look for a file called screen res text. Open that up. Now you're going to make sure that your line 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this one right here, that line 5 on screen res text is the display number for the back glass monitor. So First thing you want to do is just um, if your back glass is being shown on your play field, you may want to change that number. If it's on one, change it to two. If it's on two, change it to three. If it's on three, change it to one, that type of thing. So just go in there and change line five of that screen resolution text to a different to a different number, different screen number, uh, and then uh, save it. But also consider um, if you have anything on lines 8 or 9, those are your DMD um, height and width and position is number 10. So if, you're, if you have anything on uh, 8, 9, or 10, then you want to go ahead and make those 0. Uh, so I found that uh, by having anything on those DMD um, coordinates for position, it was automatically seeing that and putting stuff on my DMD. As soon as I made it zero, it corrected the problem. So two things you want to do is make sure that after line five, it's all zeros, and that line five, you adjust that number. So after you've made those changes, you just file save, and then what you want to do is you want to go to your B2S server or B2S setup exe. Open that up and see if the changes you made are now on this file. So this B2S setup.exe should show the changes that you made. So if you moved your um, your back glass monitor to from display two to display one, just make sure that it matches whatever you set there. Don't make any changes to this actual file, um, but it should sh it should uh, show up that you made those changes. So just open it to see that it made the changes. If it did, you can close it. And then what you want to do is you want to double click this uh, back glass server register app exe, and that's going to actually tell the tell the uh, system that you've made those changes. Everything is fine. The B2S back glass server is registered. It should. Uh, correct your issues. Now if it's still, if your back glass is still a problem or one of your monitors is still being kind of wonky, uh, change that number again. Just go in here and change line 5 to another number. If you went it 2, make it, you know, just change it to another number. Uh, save it again and just go through that same process. So I have a, f a file here that tells you what each line means. Uh, the only thing you should really be changing would be line 5, which is the display number for your back glass monitor. And uh, what I found to, that works for me was to edit out the line 8 and 9. Uh, get rid of that completely as far as the size, uh, width and height of your DMD and your position. I got rid of it completely and it solved my issues. So 
Uh, if you if this video helps you, uh, please be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I'll see you on the next one.